That John is just, he's right up here. You know, he was our little Peter Pan. And. He was the one, kind of like the class clown, the life of the party. Oh no, who's this? <laughs> he would say his biggest idol was his dad. He just did everything big, you know what I mean? But he loved big. Oh, yeah. It came so fast, like a storm. I mean, he had his challenges, but friendships, were important to him. Hi, Johnny. <laughs> I gotta go, but love ya. A friend to all, known for his love of family, his faith, his smile, his laugh. Johnny was all in. He was in a, a mental health crisis, so we were trying to help him accept help. I keep myself busy at work. She finds peace at going to the cemetery. It just is a, a sad reminder for me that he's not coming back. Johnny Robb was 30 years old. He had a rich social life, and even though he did not come from money, he also made rich friends. He had mentioned he had a friend that was starting up a company, and it had to do something with electric trucks. Trevor Milton, the founder of Nikola Motor Company, is a billionaire. In 2019, he set a real estate record, purchasing the most expensive home in Utah. I remember Johnny said one day, I'm sure he'll be really wealthy. But according to Johnny, as the two spent plenty of time and trips together, he started to learn how Trevor treated women. I definitely opened up to him about a lot of things. Nothing that I've ever worried would would come back and uh, would, would be anything criminal. Johnny told police Trevor's behavior was worse than he describes. And as their friendship became more distant, Johnny says the things he knew aided him. Dude, I've hung on to every single dirty criminal secret with women that you've ever fucking done, dude. You've got like thousands of skeletons in your closet and these skeletons want justice. I'm bringing it all out, dude, the truth, all of it, every little bit of it now. First, Johnny threatened to post screenshots of inappropriate messages Trevor sent to women. Then he accused Trevor of sexual assault and trying to pay women to have sex while he watched. Well, the worst thing I ever did in my, in, in my life was tell these girls to go hook up with other guys. Eventually, Johnny and Trevor started exchanging messages on Instagram, and then Trevor reported Johnny to the police, accusing his former friend of blackmail. He was asking for half a million dollars. Just so we're on the same page is that, that for this to, to work, you've got to be totally upfront about your relationships, about um, anything that he might have on you. We, we do need to know that, okay? And I never offered these girls to hook up with me, not once. Even though Trevor originally reported Johnny to the Summit County Sheriff's Office, the Utah Attorney General took over the case. On April 16, 2020, Jonathan Howard Robb was arrested in Murray for extortion in a sting operation set up by special agents. Wait till you read what he's done to women, bro. It's justice, dude. According to these recordings from the Utah Attorney General's office, when Johnny spoke to them, he argued the money was Trevor's idea, a deal to prevent him from releasing more damaging information. He described the $500,000 as a settlement not blackmail. I just have a bank full of this stuff, and he knows it. How are we supposed to believe that that's true? Uh, you got my phone? You go grab my phone. We'll pull it all up. Just hang on to it. Okay, just hang, hang on. Hang on to it. Let this all blow over. Once this is all blown over, do whatever the hell you want with it. Special agents declined Johnny's invitation to look through the messages together on his phone. He spent the next 20 days in jail. I'm going to win this thing. And I'm just suffering here until we can get this show on the road. When I asked him, why did you do this? He, he said, Dad, you don't know how bad of a person, how many people he's hurt. I said, but this isn't how you do it. I've taught you differently. 
the day after his release, Johnny died by suicide. I thought, okay, well, he's gonna let us help him get the help he needs, and we didn't get that opportunity. Two months later, Trevor Milton made his first ever contribution to the re-election campaign of Attorney General Sean Reyes. $15,000, leaving Johnny's friends and family asking why the AG's office took over the case. When we asked about the sexual assault allegations, a spokesperson for the agency said our interest was the extortion case, period. It makes us want to know, was there more to the story than, than what we were provided? We first informed the Attorney General's office we had questions about the case on September 24th, 2020. The next day, Sean Reyes's campaign refunded the $15,000 donation. Quote, given the current allegations, and although at this point they are only allegations, we felt it best to return the recent donations. It feels really vulnerable talking about it. Since Johnny's death, three women, including Trevor Milton's cousin, have accused Trevor of sexual assault. This photo is from when they were children. He goes, well, yeah, I'm in um, a class. It's a massage class. And everybody takes off their shirt during massage. Aubrey Smith says she was 15 years old. Trevor was 17. And then he goes, yeah, in my class, the, the girls always take their bras off because the straps get in the way. And I froze. And as he said it, he undid my bra and took it off. And he groped me, and somebody eventually knocked on the door. The statute of limitations in her case has run out, but investigators still documented their findings in a police report. I never worked for him another day, and I went home ashamed. Allison was also 15 years old when she worked for Trevor in St. George and says she was assaulted. She asked us to not show her face or full name, for privacy reasons. That's my boss, he was my right home. He was, yeah, I was much smaller than him. Uh, I just wanted to go home. He knew he had done it, he had bragged to other people and that's how my story came out. He was trying to glamorize the situation, make it sound like it was hot. Tyler Winona, another former friend of Trevor Milton, says he views his experience as very similar to Johnny Robb. He was interviewed by St. George PD but Milton has never been charged. Wish the prosecutors and police would, would take these things a little more serious. As more allegations came in, Trevor Milton stepped down as chairman of Nikola Motors. He was also dealing with a fraud investigation involving his company, in which a jury eventually found him guilty. More needs to be done to hold Trevor accountable. Aubrey said she never heard of Johnny Robb until after sharing her story. She still wants to know why the Attorney General's office treated Trevor Milton as a victim, not a suspect. They have a responsibility to look into it deeply and to give weight to what Johnny was saying. It, it's heartbreaking for me because I think he was really brave.